What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, obviously, brand new video. Um, we're going to be working on the Fiesta ST today. But before we get to that, um, I just need to say a couple little things for some companies. So, these guys over at Millionaire Rides Club, you can see that. Awesome sticker, I'll put that on the BM in a minute. They sent me they sent me a batch of Fiesta ones. They look awesome, air, like air fresheners. And um, my mum's put them in the drawer and she's gone on there and I don't know where they've gone. But luckily, they sent me some other ones. They've got BMW ones. So they've got BM ones for the BM. They've got Fiesta ones for Fiesta. The Fiesta ones look insane. There'll be a picture on the screen right here. Um, and these are the BMW ones. They all smell like very, very, very nice. Um, I've got one in my mate's here, so he loves it. So make sure you check them out. And if you use discount code B7TMY, link down below. Um, you save yourself 10% off and get free shipping. So definitely do that awesome they're very cheap very affordable and they are very good air freshener so make sure you check that out also one more thing auto perfectionists have kindly sent me out some very lovely cleaning products like these are big so we've got berry burst quick detailer and we've also got extraction which is full light removal if you don't know how full light removal works it's basically it's like bleed nine and stuff like that so it will stink but that means it's doing a good job you spray it on your wheels, stuff like that, and then it'll go purple sort of thing, or red, whatever colour. It'll bleed out all the dirt, and then you jet wash it off, and your wheels will come out looking beautiful. Um, I don't have a chance to show you these just yet in working, as my tap is still broken, as I keep saying. But that's why I've gone for like the Rapidita and stuff like this, because I don't have to do it at home. It's not like a snow foam and stuff like that. I could just go to a petrol station and use it on the go. So these sort of things are what I like to keep in my car, like a rapid detailer, turn up to a meet, you want to get on that on. And say you're driving past a petrol station, you've got jet wash, you want to make your wheels look good, spray some of this on, jet wash them off, they'll look clean as anything. So I'll leave a link down to them guys down below as well. That is an awesome product and a link to their Instagram. Now, I'm not going to long this out anymore. Let's get to the video and get going. Okay, so the plan for today is, if you remember a couple months ago, if you watched my videos, that was all blue. It's a big piece of plastic behind it, which I sprayed black. Now, I was debating cutting these out or painting them black. And after lots of thinking, I realised that if I cut it, it's more than likely going to start making a bumper sag at the front. And that's the last thing I want. So, I'm just going to go and paint it with a can of satin black. And uh, I'll show you what I've got to get that result. So we got some Wilkinson's Finest, £1.50 assorted sandpaper because we didn't have any red scotch or nothing. Uh, a bit of special tape, this is like a 3M one so this actually doesn't leave residue on my wrap, so it's like a special tape. And then we've got a nice little can of satin black, just to give it a touch up. It doesn't have to be anything special as it's just low down plastic, like you can barely even see it. And then I didn't have any old um, newspaper so I've got this to stop the other spray going around the car and getting the paint where I don't want it to go. So it should be fairly easy. I don't think it'll take long at all. Just light coats and then get thicker and thicker and yeah. Should be pretty simple, but I just want to get done because whenever I look at the car and I see that, it just irritates me. So we're going to stop that today. So my plan is, I've tucked loads of the paper stuff behind there to stop the intercooler getting all blacked up randomly. Now the tricky bit is getting in these bits here. This bit here I'm not too fussed about because it's black on it. It's already paint wrapped black, so it's not going to show like bad. But obviously I'm still going to try and roll bits around it, but it's just getting around these little bits here. It's going to be a bit of a pain, because they're very fiddly. I mean that bit there, I can just whack a bit of tape on there and I'm sweet. So this is the uh, bodge method I've come up with of protecting these corners. Um, I mean, the thing is, as soon as I spray aerosol, it's going to push all the all of this round. That is already coming off. It's not good, but yeah, she's very fiddly. Just trying to tuck it up behind the bumper itself. Make this tape actually stick because it doesn't want to stick. But I'll find a way, and I'll mask all this up somehow, some way. Okay, so this is the setup I'm running with. So I've literally just made little slits with my hand and tucked it all the way down underneath inside this part here. Luckily that all tucks in, so that's all tucked in along the bottom. Made little slits on the side so I can get around all the coverage of the actual plastic trim bits without actually touching the bodywork of the EST, so that is very, very good. Um, 
just going to shake the can up and give it a go really there's not much else I can do I know it does look very odd but this is all I had to work with so this is what I've had to make do with but it should still all be alright so we're just going to try to go ahead on that and see what happens because I haven't really got much other choice and I'm very impatient just want it done now so <coughs> let's do this um, I just realised I went to paint it and then realised I haven't even prepped it yet so <laughs> probably would help I just realised that I was like oh shit so I should probably prep it before I master it up but don't matter I'm just going to prep it now just rub this on and uh, get through the old, the old paint on it shouldn't take a moment but yeah I'll do it anyway even though it is very flimsy plastic it's alright we'll do it anyway I should have probably done this all before I've masked it up and shit because it's even more fiddly now to get through it Ah, so thinly. Stupid, stupid Fords. Oh, look, I'm breaking my way. I've masked up now. Alright, I'm just gonna lightly rub them all up. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think they have done anything. I mean, they're a bit all scotched up now, which is good. Like, they're too fiddly to get in with your hands, like, your hand, it don't fit. Oh, shit, is that a tail light from your fucking watch? Yeah. That's mad. It's pretty mad, and I've got melted arm as well, to put hot solder on it. That's so, right, alright. Now we'll shake this for about three minutes, and then, then we'll spray this, spray it up. Yay. Alright, so we're just going to go for it now. I've given it a little scratch up. It's masked up sort of as best I could. I could probably do better, but with what I've got to work with, I cannot. So, we're just going to give it a light spray all around, a little dust coat, and uh, sort of hope and pray for the best. Um, I think I'm going to go trying to work out uh, what was. I'll spray this up first. Okay, gonna be honest, that wasn't very light, but I mean, it's sort of done job. I'm just hoping this doesn't go through into the wrap. I mean, it's a wrap, you can take it off and rewrap it, it's calm. But yeah, that's sort of what we're working with now. It's just, that was a bit close, too close for comfort. Yeah, I don't want that going on the car. But um, yeah, we'll leave it as that. And then I've got some the decals and stuff to put on the BM. And then I've got a few questions, so I want to ask you guys what I should do with the ST. So, we'll catch you in a bit when we get to the next coat. Alright, now it's time for coat 2, because that's dried. Um, I'm going to shake this a little bit longer. But yeah, it's time to put a bit of no spray, no lay on this. Oh yeah, can you taste that, taste that paint? Always, always wear your safety goggles and mask oh, because, <laughs> yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> you taste it. Mug, you mug. You got a blue mouth anyway from that milkshake you had earlier. Not milkshake, whatever. The slush puppy. The slush we puppy. put Ribena in. Yeah, that's fucked. Never do that. No, nah, don't do that. Met a friend in there. Right? Anyway, <laughs> that looks alright to be fair. I'll do another coat for good luck because you know freeze the charm. If you had that title on MW2, you're an OG. But yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> I'll catch up with you and get to the third coat. <laughs> now the final coat it's pretty emotional it looks good but I'll just give it another one just for that I'll see that gate about show it scared oh, me a bit I actually maybe jump a little bit I need a poo now <laughs> anyway we're gonna finish this off and then we'll get to the beer right the one more spray okay don't spray the car to me a good old spray Ooh. 
take that. Oh yeah, <laughs> chemicals. Kill me now. <laughs> what is life? All right, I'm happy with that. We'll let that dry. We'll take all this off, and then we'll see the end result. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna put these stickers on. I'm feeling. I've already got this van sticker here, this camera car. So I'm thinking we just like, add on around it. We'll just we'll make we'll make something because I've never done like a sticker bomb thing. And then like I'm just gonna wait for it. Oh, broke the seal, winner. BM gets the BM. It's just I've got a blocked nose, but it's also tank. Look, spell it. Oh, Independent cool. smell test passed as well. If you can spell that on the fat camera, rate that. Remember our link by for these B17 worth 10 percent off. We're just gonna hang that up and yeah, get some good smells. Bang. Him and the wave refresh are doing bits. That magical music. Oh, sorry. That sounds really yeah. good. That. It's like orchestra. Also, um, hope you like these glasses. I'm starting to bring out my own range of menswear for the uh, protection. Of like when you put stickers on and that, you never know if an edge could come out and hit you in the face. So it's always good to wear some safety glasses just in case. All right, I'm gonna show you how to equip a decal. Hope you're ready for this because it's pretty. Pretty mad. So first of all, we don't do that. We just give it a good old rub first, because we need to make sure the vinyl is ready. So I'm gonna get a nice hot service, give it a good old rub. Now I'm gonna show you how to apply this. Catch you in a minute. After a long time of fighting with this decal to get it off here and in one piece, I did it. It's just got little fiddly bits. It's actually pretty mad. It's like an oil slick. Don't know if you see it. Yeah, Simply when it's on the car. But yeah, I'm thinking that that'll be that'll be pretty lit. Give that, and then just give it a good old. Give a rub of the application, just so we know she's gonna like that. Just give it a good old rub. Give it a good old. And then, watch this. This is the magic part. That's where the magic happens, boys. Oh. Shut up. Tell your fans, shut up. Look at my bin and my bam. Look at my bin. Look at my bin. <laughs> you can't really see it. It needs a clean, mate. Fuck. That's bad, isn't it? I'll barely even drive it. Oh, this one's coming off nice. He says and then it doesn't. All right. This is going to need a good old rub. And then I'll show you. <laughs> but by the time I've done all this rubbing, that paint's going to be dry so we can show you the front end and then we'll be happy days. So sweet. I'll catch you. I'll just put this on and then I'll show you the overall outcome of everything. Awesome. It is now. The moment we've all been waiting for. To see if this actually worked or if I've cocked up and <laughs> sprayed my whole front bumper. So, let's do this. Let's do this. Some more cod banter for you. There you go. Who, who do you personally? Oh, I've got him. I think it's Captain Price. <laughs> from the old Cod 4. Alright, let's do this. There's a lot of tape down there. I may have got a bit of black dirt on my plate. Oh wait, look at that, look at that. Let's catch that right off. No spray, no lay. I'm pretty happy with that, please. We've got to pull this bit out now. This is how intense my prep room was. Tucked it in everywhere. No, I just to make sure I get it all off. Yeah, it's made pretty fucking well. I though. think it done well. Yeah. Look at that. I thought I was an idiot doing it that way and I was actually a genius. Typical. They laughed when they said man could walk on the moon. Now look at me. Spraying bumpers and... Alright, I've got a bit hanging off there, fair play. And probably when I take the bump off next, I'm going to find loads of this randomly dotted. I can see bits behind the integral actually. But, I mean... You missed the bit. I've got a bit of tape under there. You missed the bit. Where? Oh, That's sorry. Right. You dick. You dick Whittington. The only bit of overspray I've got was on the plate and that's scratching off. So, in full comparison, or whatever you call it, I think that's coming out quite well. I mean, I've missed a bit of paint there, but that was a bit too close to the bump and I wanted to go, but it definitely looks better from the other side. Who's FaceTime, man? Yeah, no, it looks calm. It looks like it's uh, dead on. Stay away, mistress. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, and now I've got a couple more questions to ask you and then 
we'll complete the video. But yeah, that looks sick. I'm happy with that. It looks a lot more aggressive. Thank you. Okay, boys, I'm just gonna outro the video now. Um, the one last thing I was gonna say is, I feel like V2 of this car is complete. Like the V1 was in blue. The V2 of it was with the wrap. Now V3 is, do I change the wrap? Do I take the decals off, alter decals, change them up to like the newer style voodoo decals, or do I go completely crazy and do some crazy shit with ST that no one's done in England? So I want to know what you like say. Um, that was like a little more I did today in the decals, but it needed to be done. It looks so much better personally. Like personally owning the car and always seeing that defect in the car will always bug me. So now that it's done, I'm happy. So yeah, um, smash a like if you enjoyed. Comment what you'd like to see. How I'm TST now and smash the subscribe button. Um, hope to see you on the next one. I've all, oh, I've also got my shop is now live. So if you click the top link in the description, no, not top link, sorry, because that's all the other companies. But if you look down below, there'll be one saying my shop or something like that. If you check that out, you can order B7 TMY black or white t shirt and the hashtag to send it stickers. We've got more coming, but yeah, uh, make sure you check that out. Thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you boys next one. Peace.